We live in uncertain times. At a minimum, I want them to think maybe we would use it. With global tensions escalating and faith in the establishment being eroded, increasing numbers of people are turning to self-sufficiency as a kind of insurance against disaster. You've got to go and get water, you've got to go and get food, you've got to go and get firewood. That training is key. Thanks to the extreme stereotype imported from the US and enhanced by the media. Somebody get some help over here! In the States, Silicon Valley billionaires are some place where people have all gathered. How long do you think it would take for society breaks down for people that start as medieval? So people are like running about in gangs, doing bad stuff. Primal Bushcraft run this urban survival and prepping skills course from a country park outside Edinburgh. <sighs> course leader Matt Smith has noticed an increased interest in people wanting to learn survival techniques. People in cities and certainly large towns, urban environments, if something happened and everyone knew they had a stash of food, you know, a stash of water, and the medical supplies or whatever, guess where they're going? They'll come to your house. But when you talk about things like societal breakdown and that sort of thing, people would say, you know, this is kind of scaremongering, this is not going to happen, why are you flogging this one? If people are scared, then let's give them the experience and the training to help save and preserve life if something should happen. But also, if they're worried about it, once you've given them the training, they go, do you know what, actually I feel better, I've, I've mitigated that fear a bit. What do you most want to sort of find out that you don't know already? just want to make sure that the knowledge I have, I can apply in, a, in the real world. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully for pleasure, not for, uh, for survival. You can use it as an adhesive or like put it over a cut to keep it sealed. You had an interest in this sort of thing for a long time? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Where do you think that stems from? This like of people. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. What happens if one day something bad happens? I, I, I just wouldn't know what to do, and it's just great actually to pick up some of these skills. And yeah. Especially, I think, as a woman, don't yeah. you think? It's sort of, um, yeah, you have to rely on yourself. Johnny, what's happened? Uh, I've cut my arm off. <laughs> They're not expecting this, are they? No. Go on, give us a squirt. <laughs> I sort of feel a bit ill, to be honest. Honestly. Good luck, Johnny. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you in a bit. Basically, when all goes and there's no emergency services. Emergency services look after themselves first. And what do they go away with after speaking to you? For Confidence. Help! Help! Somebody, Somebody get some help over here! Help me! You're right. You're right. Help me! Help me! Ah, no! Keep it on, keep it on. You're right, mate. Yes. Yeah. Right, you're going to be all right. Don't worry about it, right? Get a nice brew when you're done. You'll be fine, right? He's got a vein coming down here. It's good to hit the bone. You're never going to have nurses, vets, you know, doctors at hand. It's going to be Joe Bloggs with the limited bit of skills he's got. We'll just stain clothing. Oh, yeah, we'll stay having But you know what? It's fine. Shit happens, huh? Yeah. <laughs> How did that go, do you think? Well, well, aye. What we're trying to catch is the initial. <gasps> but somebody's got to take charge. Yeah. Job done. Job done, mate. High five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For most people, disappearing into the woods is very much a worst-case scenario. But if Britain was struck by a viral pandemic, you may need to survive for up to three months without leaving the house. Prepper Jay Oliver is confident he can do just that. Oh, wow. OK, so this is part of the supplies that we have here. So... Fantastic. There's quite a good range of stuff here. You're going to eat well, right? Do your neighbours know that you do this? Chances are you're not going to have a conversation about prepping with your neighbour. The world comes into sheep, sheep dogs and wolves. Wolves, one set of people that will take advantage and target the sheep. And then you have people like emergency services, soldiers, private security contracts and stuff like that, that are the sheep dogs. These are the people with the skills and the ability to be able to stand up and actually try and defend themselves and other people. To be able to find those like-minded people can be quite difficult if you don't have that kind of central hub of people to go to. You've got some pretty slick branding. <laughs> yes, it is very, very key for us to be able to have a, a professional image online. We do regular live streams, and there we are, we're live. Oh, great. We've, we've, got, got, a, we've got a viewer. Hello. I don't know who that is yet. Oh, God, is, is it really is going on, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Carl saying uh, the media portrays us as idiots yeah. as tinfoil hat wearing bunker in the back garden. Yeah. 
Absolutely. I told you, we don't talk about the bunkers. <laughs> Robert, have you got a question for us? Probably for Jay rather than me, but <laughs> do, do send in a question. I'd be quite good at this, wouldn't I? People, a lot of people, hey James. The media can be quite unfair. I don't prep for zombies or anything like that. I like to be prepared for other things that may commonly happen, such as James. What, what, car accident, job loss, flooding. I joined because you are family orientated and don't make me feel alone in my prepping. That's one of the things I think is, is key about this. People like a sense of belonging to, to a group and that kind of understand and can share ideas and stuff like that. If I was in my hometown and I, I didn't have this, I potentially wouldn't know anyone else that would be doing it. We're, so it'd be we're pack animals after all. That's it. And the idea with this is we're trying to find like-minded people. But we're not wolves. Not wolves. In the event of a global disaster, a gas mask, water filter and tomahawk may be of limited use. That wasn't meant to do that, was it? But as an antidote to creeping complacency, brought on by the convenience of modern life. Sorry. The prepper's mentality is perhaps something to be celebrated. 